Do not listen to this recording whilst driving or operating machinery, or if you suffer from epilepsy. Only listen when you can relax, safely and completely. Hello, this is Lena bringing you this guided sleep hypnosis session to help you overcome the insomnia you've been having and shift you into a state of pre-sleep relaxation to begin with to better aid your sleep process now to help train you to fall asleep naturally and you might already know that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis a state of deeply focused relaxation it requires a willingness to let go and allow yourself to enter into a deeply focused state and other times it's quite naturally occurring such as being in trance driving on a highway or watching television and here in this session you're always fully in control of your own state and I will help you direct your focus where it needs to go guiding you into a deeply relaxed state and if anything external in your surroundings requires your full attention you can always bring yourself back to full alertness as easily as intending to do so and opening your eyes. So why don't we begin now? Be sure to lie down in a comfortable position on your bed so that you can begin to ease into this session feeling comfortable and secure to assist you into a deep sleep. And let's start with the breath. Take a deep breath in, breathing through your nose, filling your lungs completely. Hold it and breathe out through your mouth to release the breath. Take another deep breath in, hold it and release. And one more time. Take a moment to relax your whole body, beginning with your feet. Scrunch your toes and release them. Moving up to your calves and shins and your thighs. Tense them and release the tension. Move your attention up to your stomach muscles and tense and release those muscles too. Then move your attention to your back muscles and notice where you're feeling the most tension. Roll your shoulders back a few times, loosening up the shoulder blades and letting that tension go. Notice if your tension is coming from your neck lift and shrug your shoulders upwards hold it and roll out the entire neck shoulders and head however you need to to put all those little joints and tendons into a more comfortable alignment and when you find those tense areas just loosen them up this is where we hold all our tension and burdens in our body, carrying the weight of the world, causing tension and stiffness in the muscles. But you don't need to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Just let it go. This is your time 
to relax. Let your shoulders fall back comfortably into place and just soften. Take your time and relax this area well. And when you release the tension here, it will flow to the rest of your body more easily. Now let your arms become loose, limp and relaxed. Resting by your sides or in any position that you find most comfortable to sleep in. And if you prefer to sleep on your side, feel free to adjust your body to any position you're most likely to fall asleep in. Now, relax all the muscles in your face. Relax your forehead and let your jaw fall loose. Relax the tiny muscles around your eyes and eyelids. And relax them to the degree that you can't even open your eyes anymore. And relax them still a little more. And let go of any expectations about when you're going to fall asleep and rather enjoy the tranquil spaces in between semi-awake consciousness and that moment when you fall asleep and don't remember and you forget or you simply forget to remember and if any stray thoughts enter your mind that's okay you can watch them come and go and let them be and they will also soon settle down as you settle deeper and deeper into peace and comfort so too your stray thoughts will also find a more comfortable resting place to settle into just enjoy any delicious sensations upon your skin as you fall asleep the mixed sensations of warmth and coolness as your body begins adjusting its correct temperature before falling asleep. And the delicious soft chills on the surface of your skin as some areas feel cooler while some other areas are comfortably warm. Your body knows what to do. And while that's all happening naturally on its own, I wonder if you can just follow along to some imagery that I'm going to create for you. And as you do so, you can just let my voice fade away in the background while my words transform into the images that you see in your mind. I wonder if you can pretend that you're once more as a young child. Learning new things, starting school. Now this isn't your actual childhood. This is one that we're making up. So it can be however you want it to be. Because after all it's just pretend, it's just imagination. So whether or not you had certain memories from that time that were pleasant, as a child you always knew how to pretend. So you still have it in you, and you're still allowed to. And it's entirely up to you how and what you'd like to pretend to be. So let's pretend now. As a young child, you're learning to write numbers and learning how to paint and all those fun things that children like to do. You're standing in your classroom and it's 
decorated with lots of brightly coloured artwork hanging overhead. You have large picture windows looking out onto a playground and lots of green shrubs around a perfectly green lawn. It's quiet and peaceful outside. All the children are in the classrooms. It's a sunny day with only a few small puffs of white fluffy clouds off in the distance. You can see all this through the large picture windows as you daydream of when it will be time to play outside. And your wonderful teacher has laid out some art supplies. You have some large sheets of paper, paint brushes and lots of different coloured paints. I wonder if you can see your arm and hand as a small child's painting numbers on a large sheet of white paper, your small hand and fingers reaching out for a paintbrush, wrapping those chubby fingers around the paintbrush. And as you look down you see a palette of paint with all kinds of colours laid out in it, ready for you to use. You look on with wonder with the eyes of a child and everything is new, fresh and exciting and the world is full of wonder. You can look down and see your small feet on the floor and perhaps some other small feet nearby from your little friends. You see your hand taking the paintbrush and you carefully dip it into some dark red paint then carefully lifting it, trying not to drip too much on the floor, you take the brush to the sheet of paper and paint the number 10. You have just enough paint to paint the number 1. You slowly make a small upward stroke and then a large line downward. Good. Then you load the paintbrush in the red paint one more time and paint the number zero. Nice and round. Wonderful. Now you rinse out the paintbrush and choose the bright orange paint. And you paint the number nine on the sheet of paper. Watch how the paint starts in a small blob then starts to thin out as you go around and down towards the end of the number nine. You're doing great. You rinse the paintbrush and then you dip it into the yellow paint. It's such a happy colour. Makes you feel happy to paint the yellow number eight on the paper. The teacher says you're doing a great job. Next, after rinsing out the paintbrush, your next colour is green. You like the colour green. It reminds you of playing outside and running on the lawn. You paint the number seven on the paper. And you notice how with each number that you paint, you're feeling more relaxed than you were before. Then you rinse out the green, washing the paintbrush clean again. And you dip the paintbrush into the blue colour. This is a light blue colour, much like the sky. This colour also makes you feel happy and carefree. It's such a summery colour. As you paint the number six on the paper, it reminds you of the outdoors and fun with friends. When you finish that, you rinse out your brush again and you dip the brush in the dark blue paint and once more carefully paint the number five as you try and remember 
whether the number faces forward or backwards and then you get it right. You notice how with each number that you paint you become more focused and relaxed. Then you rinse the paintbrush again while you note that the water has changed to a dark murky grey but that's fine. Now you dip the paintbrush into the violet paint and you paint the number four. That's good. By now you notice that you've run out of bright colours but there's still the black paint which you haven't used yet. So you decide to finish the remainder of the numbers in black because you're starting to become tired now and you're losing track of the numbers. After rinsing out the purple from the paintbrush you paint the number three in black. You're feeling more tired and relaxed. You take some more paint and you paint the number two. Trying to remember the shape that it should be in. And you're almost completely relaxed. Then finally one more time you dip the paintbrush into the shiny black paint and without dripping any you paint the number one and you're done now. You put the paintbrush down and you gaze into the deep blackness of the number one. You're so peaceful now. Your teacher says it's story time now and you join your friends sitting on the rug in front of the teacher. She has some books that she has chosen to read to the class. This is your favourite part of the day. You're ready for the story. And as you're sitting there, you're becoming more relaxed. Sitting there comfortably and patiently while the teacher reads the story. It becomes hard to even keep your eyes open. But you try because you're trying to keep up with the story. And it's quite a fun and also relaxing tale. And as you hear all your teacher's words, the story takes on a life of its own. And you drift off into another world of childlike imagination. All the sounds around you become vague and dim. And any noises or shuffles are barely noticeable as you absorb deeply into the story in a trance-like state. As your teacher reads stories about faraway places and people and you're full of wonder, daydreaming about the images that come to your mind as you listen to the voice in the background. And pretty soon any and all thoughts of your own fade completely and even the voice fades completely. Your breathing becomes steady and relaxed. Everything is replaced by daydreamy images such as ships sailing on calm seas with breezy cool winds and fluffy soft clouds far off in the distance. Calm and tranquil skylines with a hazy glowing sunset. And then the daydream takes you off to another place once again. And you can't tell if this is part of a story or part of your daydream. 
because you soon find yourself becoming part of the daydream as well as the story. And you see your feet skipping along a small trail beside a bubbling creek. And it's filled with boulders that you can easily step over to get to the other side. So you step over the large rocks in ten easy steps. With each step you become more completely immersed into the daydream. Not really knowing if it's part of the story. So you cross the creek and as you do so, you count backwards from ten. Counting backwards the large rocks that you step over with 10 and then 9, 8, you easily step from one rock to another, 7, 6, almost halfway to the other side that looks more tranquil and filled with shady trees, 5, 4, only a few more steps to go. Three. Almost reaching the other side. Two. And taking the last leap. And one. You find yourself across the other side. And indeed it was as tranquil as you thought it would be. You find a loose branch on the ground and you pick it up waving it about, listening to the whistling that it makes. Like the whistling sounds that your breathing sometimes sounds like when you're sleeping deeply. You look at the deep green leaves that make the backdrop for the forest and you wonder if there are any small animals in their burrows nearby and you wonder if they'll cross your path. You see a small beetle scurry off under some leaves and you take your stick and try and lift some leaves to see where it went. There seems to be so much life in unexpected places. And then that scene fades somehow and it gets replaced with images from another story. And this time you're holding a bunch of brightly coloured balloons you blow them up one at a time and you tie them up and release them into the wind watching them blow away drifting upwards until they can hardly be seen. You release a red balloon after you blow it up with air. Anything that you felt angry about that day goes up, up in the sky and it's gone. You blow up a blue balloon and anything that you were sad about you release and it goes up, up and it drifts away and it's gone. You blow up a green balloon and anything that didn't work out the way you wanted it to, anything that made you feel disappointed goes up up and away and it gets released into the sky. You lie back on the soft cool grass and smile as you watch as they all fly away until they are small specks in the sky and you wait until you can no longer see them. And all that's left is a soft blue sky with a friendly sun warming your face, making you feel sleepy and drowsy, relaxed and carefree. 
and all the stories keep taking you to new, interesting places. All the while your mind is making happy, friendly pictures. And you're still daydreaming along. Merging with the stories. And part of you knows that it's soon time to go home. Soon it's time to go back to the familiar routine that happens at home. In the afternoon and evening. Before it's time to go to sleep. As you listen you become more relaxed. Your mind goes on a journey. And then after some small activity some time later you find yourself back home. And I wonder if you can find yourself in your present state as you are now. Only this time, taking the childlike ease of falling asleep easily and naturally and transfer it to that which is your current time and place. Remembering to fall asleep with the effortless ease of a child. Now it's evening and you're in your own home. You're lying in your bed and it's time for sleep. You've had a wonderful and busy day. Your bed is so comfortable and you can't keep your eyes open anymore. As your eyes blink to try and stay awake a little longer, you try in vain, and with each blink, your eyes stick together, firmer and more tight, until they finally close that last time. Before you drift off, into a peaceful, dreamless sleep. With each relaxed breath that you take, your body sinks deeper into sleep. With each breath you go three times deeper. Your whole body lets go as you fall asleep. And your hands relax. Your fingers naturally unfold, loose and open and relaxed. You soon sink further into the bed, feeling heavier and heavier. Feeling supported by your comfortable bed. Breathing evenly and steadily. Any sounds around you fade away as you fall deeply and heavily into a peaceful sleep until the morning. And each and every time that you lie down to sleep, when you intend to sleep, it will become easier and easier for you to drift off into a peaceful, deep slumber. Every time you come back to hear my voice you will feel comfortably tired and relaxed. And my voice will help you feel peaceful. And you will fall asleep easily and quickly to help you get the rest that you're looking for. And your insomnia is already becoming a thing of the past. You're already learning how to sleep deeply. See how good you are at learning new things. 
and remembering how to do old things that you used to do easily, like sleeping like a baby. You can do it easily to your benefit. And I'm going to count backwards from 100 to 1. And with each number that I count down, you can just let my voice fade into the background a little more. And you can go deeper into sleep. And it's time now to sleep soundly. Because your body wants to rest, and you will. To rejuvenate your entire being. To restore your energy for the next day. To awaken feeling refreshed when it's time to rise. And until then, you will sleep deeply and soundly. Relax and sleep now. As I count down now from 100 and 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 
41 40 39 38 37 36 35 34 33 32 31 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Sleep now. <laughs>